everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja. And today I wanna to talk to you about 23andMe results. So let's say you've been to 23andMe, you've spit into a tube, you got this kit and you sent it back. It already has its mailing address contained. You sent it back and it tells you that they have your results and they're ready to go. Chances are you're gonna get these results and no one's gonna explain anything to you. And the reason why you did these tests was because you're suffering with an adrenal fatigue problem or you have a thyroid problem or you can't lose weight or you don't have energy or you're depressed, you feel cold all the time, you're not sleeping, you have chronic pain or gastrointestinal problems, you, you expressed an autoimmunity and no one's explaining anything to you and you heard of this thing called MTHFR. So let's give this an example. Let's say we put MT. HFR in here. So MTHFR is a gene, is an enzyme, and the enzyme is made by a gene. And so what happens is these 23 and Me results tells us about the functioning of these of these genes and how it codes for enzymes, how it makes enzymes. And so really what happens is there's there's 23 different kinds of, of enzymes. And MTHFR, for some reason, gets the most notoriety. So what I want to do is I want to describe this to you, and I want to describe a couple of things that you need to think about. So number one is substrate. So what goes into the enzyme to make the end product? And so typically, we have folic acid up here at the top, and then the end product tends to be folate. And, and what happens is it goes through this MTHFR gene and has to become folate. And if you don't have a good gene working at optimal efficiency, you don't make a lot of folate. And when you don't make a lot of folate, then you can carry the same reaction and then folate is used as a substrate and that substrate is not used um, to make another product. Kind of lost you, so let me start from the beginning. Basically you have a gene slash enzyme and something goes into it and something comes out of it. And if that gene's not working, that something doesn't come out of it very much. And if that something doesn't come out of it very much, you're gonna express the autoimmunity, you're gonna have a thyroid problem, you're not gonna detoxify, you may not be able to fight off an infection, you may not be able to make hormones. So that's why we wanna see which genes are not working very well. But here's the thing, you need cofactors as well. So let's say I have a gene that doesn't work very well and I eat at McDonald's every day. And let's say you have a gene that works perfectly and, um, and you don't eat at McDonald's every day. So what happens is your gene is not only going to be working better, but it has the cofactors to help make that end product. Or let's say I have no gene problems, but I eat at McDonald's every day. I'm not going to have any cofactors to make that enzyme work. So it doesn't even matter if I have an MTHFR problem. I need those cofactors and you need those cofactors. So cofactors are things like B1, B2, selenium, ATP, magnesium, and you need proper functioning thyroid hormones to, to make these cofactors. Decreased activity, why would a gene have decreased activity? Because of environmental toxins, things like heavy metal toxicities, alcohol, nitric oxide, uh, laughing gas, uh, infections, bacteria overgrowth. These are typically the things that we can help you with. Uh, or we can help you with the cofactors. Or we can actually give you the end product and not have to worry about all that stuff. There's other things that increase the activity as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can do. You may not be able to fix the gene per se. It may only always be a gene that's heterozygous or homozygous, but you can give your stuff uh, self uh, decreased activity, you can give cofactors, you can do things that will increase activity, or you can do things that will give you the end product. So um, I know it's a confusing issue, but guess what? I do free 15 minute phone consults. All you gotta do is fill in the information in the chart below, uh, fill that out, and it will send us a, um, a completed um, form for us to get in contact with you and discuss maybe what's going on with you and see if we can design a program to give your life back. Once again, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I call myself the Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Ninja. Check out my website at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Check out my Facebook at Adrenal Fatigue Recovery. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a share, a like, and make sure you comment on this post. I can answer any questions that you have. And then lastly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope you have a great day and hope you need um, some help that I can give you in the 23andMe results.